Hi everyone, I uh, welcome to my YouTube channel Literature Insights, an easy platform to learn English language and literatures in English. If you have not subscribed my YouTube channel Literature Insights yet, so please subscribe it by pressing the bell icon for getting further notifications and updates of my coming videos. In my last tutorial, we have seen organs of speech and the functioning of organs of speech through the three significant systems such as the respiratory system, phonetary system and the articulatory system. But in that tutorial, we have just seen one system, the respiratory system. So in this tutorial, I am going to discuss with you second system of organs of speech that is the phonetic system. The phonetic system includes larynx, vocal cords, windpipe or trachea. The phonetic system is also known as the larynx or voice box where the sound is produced with the help of larynx or vocal cords. The second functioning system is the phonetic system that is responsible for producing the sound with the air pumping through the throat or vocal cords. So now here we can uh, notice that the larynx, vocal cords and windpipe or trachea played a significant role in a production of sounds. So these three organs are very significant in the phonetic system. The phonetic system includes the throat or vocal cords, the larynx and trachea or windpipe. The air stream is released by the lungs undergoes several modifications before it goes out into the atmosphere or before production of sounds. So now here it is very significant for the learners of English to understand the air stream mechanism or air pressure is very crucial in production of speech sounds. The first modifications effected in the trachea or windpipe while producing speech sounds. If you try to produce the sounds at the beginning of English words like seal and zeal, the initial sound s and z, you will notice that while pronunciation of these two English words seal and zeal, while pronunciation of zeal word you will notice that there is hum or some vibration is created while pronunciation of the sound which is not noticed or heard in the English word seal. So now it is important to understand the learners of English how the vibrations are created with the help of larynx and vocal cords. The larynx it is important to the learners of English language to understand the meaning of larynx. The larynx is a vacuum in the vocal cords which plays vital role in the production of speech sounds. The larynx is situated at the top of trachea or windpipe. While production of speech sound, the air from the lungs has to come out through the larynx and vocal cords that prevents to enter the food water into trachea or wine pipe. In the larynx, a lip like structures are situated that is called vocal cords and these are placed horizontally from front to back. The opening space between vocal cords is called glottis as the vocal cords are separated from each other at one end they assume a number of positions but here we are just dealing with the three significant positions of the vocal cords so let's see one by one a vocal cord drawn wide apart vocal cord held loosely together the vocal cord held tightly together. These are three significant positions of the vocal cords while production of speech sounds. So let's study one by one these three positions. Number one, vocal cords drawn wide apart. 
when the vocal cords drawn wide apart there is a wide opening between them is called glottis through this opening space the air can pass freely without setting the vibration into vocal cords this is the normal position of vocal cords in the process of breathing or respiration the speech sounds produced when the vocal cords in this position do not have the hum sound or the vibrations so in this position when we pronounce or produce the sounds it is called voiceless sounds we cannot heard any kind of vibration while production of speech sounds so now here let's see the example of these voiceless sounds pot thin caught ten so these are the words the initial sounds of these words when we produce the words like pot caught ten thin we heard that there is no any kind of vibration or hum sound is created so these sounds are called voiceless sounds let's see the second position of the vocal cords when the vocal cords held loosely together the air from the lungs can escape only into vibration of vocal cords that produced vibration or hum sound that is called voiced sounds so let's see some of the examples of english words while production of the such words we can hear a vibration or hum sound in the pronunciation for example dead bed jug main so while pronunciation of these words we can notice easily the initial sounds of these words are voiced sounds suppose for example we pronounce dead main so while pronunciation of these words we have some kind of vibration in the pronunciation of these words all vowels are voiced consonants some consonants are voice sounds and others are voiceless sounds so now here it is a very important to know the learners of english to make aware the voiceless sounds and voice sounds told in the early position of vocal cords there we can find easily how the sounds are produced voiceless and in this position we have seen the sounds are voiced so now it is very important to understand the learners the procedure of these production of speech sounds let's see the third position of the vocal cords the vocal cords held tightly together and the vocal cords held tightly together along their whole length the glottis is closed therefore the air cannot escape through the vocal cords this is the position of the vocal cords must occur at the time of drinking and eating so that no food or liquid can enter into the wind pipe or trachea which disrupt the production of speech sounds proceeding from this position when the vocal cords drawn wide apart and explosive sound produce that is called glottal stop in glottal stop that resembles the sound produced a mild cough in the articulations of earlier vowel sounds in the english word like act empty and uncle these are the three significant positions of voice in the production of speech sounds so it is a very important for the learners of english to understand the phonetry system through this system the organs of speech is functioning so if you like my videos on the phonetry system of organs of speech so please share like and subscribe my youtube channel literature insights my next tutorial i am going to discuss with you the third system of organs of speech that is the articulatory system